Hello, this is Tyler with Diesel Laptops. Today we are out here with a Kenworth with a Caterpillar engine in it. We're gonna show you what the Texas system can do. So first of all, here is our TXT box. Uh, we have it all plugged up and we're up in the nine pin connector up there and you'll notice we're Bluetooth. So we got nothing going to the laptop. I'm actually gonna close the door because that beeping noise is pretty annoying. And we are literally like right out here on the road. So you'll probably get some background road traffic noise. And we're right here on a text on our Texas. So I got Nate here helping me. And I'm gonna just gonna zoom you in here so you can see the screen. We're already connected to it. And you'll see in the upper left corner, 130 different engine parameters. And if we can just page down a little bit so people can kind of see what you can and can't see on it, you'll notice it's not just uh, temperature and pressure settings, but you'll also see positions of switches if they're on or off, uh, and if things are communicating or not, everything going on there. So let's take a look at the fault code next. This particular truck does not have any fault codes, so there's nothing to be shown there. If it would obviously read them, it would give us the actual OEM flash code. We'll go to the ECU info tab, and you'll notice right here on the very bottom, it gives us the engine serial number, which is important when you're dealing with Caterpillar to look up repair information and diagnostic help. Next, we'll go over to activations. Now on the activations, you'll see our cylinder cutoff tasks with repair errors, injector solenoid, uh, let's go here on to the special test. Let's just show people what that command does. So special tests, uh, go hit the start button. And you'll notice under special tests, you can now do a bunch of other commands as well. So you'll notice that we could test things like our check engine light, uh, test some of our circuits. The ones that say not installed means that this particular vehicle does not have those components installed on them. Uh, but all you would simply do is use the up and down arrows if you wanted to run these commands. But we'll, we'll back out of here and we'll go show you where all the other commands are hidden. So let's go over to settings. And you'll see on settings, all kinds of great stuff we can do in here. There are tons of them. Why don't you go to the very top and we can just, we'll just go down, page down through it um, so everyone kind of see what it can do. And you'll notice any kind of parameter change that you want to do can easily be done in here from changing your cruise control settings, PTO settings, driver rewards enabling, uh, cruise control settings, maximum road speed settings. Um, we're going to go all the way down to the one that says manual injector programming. So that's a big one that customers always ask for as well. Can I program my injectors? And let's go back into that one. Let's go, yep. Manual injector programming. Uh, right there. So we're going to go up there. And then he's gonna go down here and hit the start button. And we're gonna kind of go through some prompts here and press confirm to continue. And you'll notice now it's gonna go read all the codes on all the six injectors that are installed. So right here you could actually go change your injector coding number, which again is a very important thing you need to do on a Caterpillar when you are connected to it. So there you go, best diagnostic tool on the market, the Texa diagnostic tool, uh, sold by Diesel Laptops. Here we are again on the uh, what a 2005-ish, 2004-ish Caterpillar engine C15. Thank you for watching.